We're at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse where tonight the Lady Raiders take on conference rival De Pere. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me tonight is the coach, Mike Vorpal. Uh, Mike, De Pere comes in 19 and one, 12 and 13 and one in conference. North is uh, 18 and two, 13 and one in conference. It's for first place. It's Clash of the Titans. You got number three in the state, De Pere. Number six, Sheboygan North on the Golden Raiders home floor. The band is playing, the popcorns pop. It's for all the marbles, this one. They also had the seeding meeting on Sunday. Uh, De Pere did get the number one seed. North has got the number two seed, which means they'll be playing. I believe De Pere gets a bye in the first round. Uh, Kerry, our director, was saying, why don't they wait on that till after a game like this? Yeah, you would think with such a game, a huge game at the end of the season, they'd want to wait to see to make sure they get the seeds right correctly. They did play earlier in the season. North did beat them. Four uh, actually, De Pere, De Pere won that yeah, one. De Pere won that four-point game. It was close at De Pere. Let's talk a little bit about De Pere. They got pretty good balance. Margaret Miller averages a little over 12. Uh, Jesse Robbins is 11.9, and Sarah Kuhn, 10.2. Uh, we talked a little bit with Dave Tetchlog. His daughter, Carly, is the JV coach, by the way, they won. And he was saying they got a, ins a girl that plays inside that likes to use her hips a little bit. Yeah, uh, Margaret Miller is a handful. She leads the team in scoring. She leads the team in assists. She's third in rebounds. But the X factor, the last time they played, there's a girl that came off the bench, Carly Cerruto, at four, three, 17 points, that she normally averages eight points a game. De Pere needs that kind of production from somebody else to break North Zone. All right, let's talk a little bit about what does De Pere do to stop North from getting the ball inside. Uh, the two Wolf girls just play marvelous together. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And they are a real handful inside. So number one, De Pere wants to make this more of a full court game. They're gonna harass using full court pressure. And to stop that pass from the inside, they gotta put pressure on all the entry passes because once the, the Wolf girls get the ball inside 10 feet, it's usually over. One of the things that De Pere likes to do is put a lot of pressure on the ball. Uh, North will need to handle that pressure to uh, get it down into the offensive zone. What does North do to uh, alleviate some of that pressure that De Pere is going to put on? Well, first of all, they have to play with poise. You know that the Redbirds are coming after you, and you just have to stay within yourself, try not to do things beyond yourself. Once you get the ball across the 10-second line, you're going to be okay. And then you know you got McKenzie Wolf and Madison Wolf. Try to work the ball to them inside. North likes to play a zone defense, and they're pretty good at it. And let's face it, you know, you always got that back line defense if somebody gets uh, around some of the front uh, girls. But uh, if you're De Pere, what are you going to do to uh, break the zone? Well, once again, usually to break a zone, you got to get the ball swinging around, moving around. And then the, the, the De Pere girls have to get into the gaps. North is going to give you some gaps. If they move the ball fast, De Pere will get what they want. The key is when they get the open look, can they knock it down? So by the gap, you mean between one girl playing a zone and the other girl playing a zone going between them? Absolutely, no question. Getting in between players and setting screens to give yourself an opening to get a, a good shot off. You mentioned that X factor, and uh, we talked a little bit about that, Chris and I, uh, at the, the night of the North-South games. Uh, who's gonna, who do you think could be the X factor for North? Well, North, you're right. They have some guys, girls that are very capable of helping them off the bench. So they've got some shooters that come off the bench. They've got a freshman girl that's outstanding. They have a wonderful sophomore girl that comes in for their bigs. And when she comes in the game, they give her three large girls, you know, really tall girls on the floor. All right, with that, we're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the tip off for tonight's huge basketball game. Every day, thousands of community and school groups, volunteer and government producers, technical staff and residents reach out to your community through one of the most powerful communication tools available, cable TV. Peg Access produces more new local programming each week than all the programming produced by NBC, CBS, ABC, Fox and PBS combined. Peg Access channels provide communities with a diverse, independent and local voice. Thank you for watching and for your continued support of public, education, and government access television. 
Usually, a texting and driving prevention ad would show you some shocking statistics, or maybe a sad family member that lost someone. They might even show you the last text they sent to scare you. But one of the most scariest statistics is about time. Specifically, the amount of time you're not able to watch the road. This video was submitted by a student through the Teens Drive Smart program. For more information on teen safety, visit teensdrivesmart.com. One of my most rewarding experiences as a dietitian has been actually quite recently, just a year ago, when I met Donna because she was so motivated and ready to lose weight and to get healthier. Well, since I've met Sue and listened to her guidance, I've lost about 80 pounds and I have been taken off almost all my medications. To me, I mean, that's something to shout about. I just see the future getting better and better and better because I'm getting healthier and healthier and healthier. Ian Ralston was a combat medic who was injured in Iraq. When I met Ian, I knew he had to help him get his housing grant, an auto grant, and every benefit to live as normal a life as possible. And we did. PVA has helped hundreds of thousands of veterans get the care and benefits they've earned. My name is Jason Stevenson, and I work for Paralyzed Veterans of America. Paralyzed Veterans of America. Changing lives. Building futures. Did you know that your thumbs are some of the... Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's game between the De Pere Redbirds, coached by Dave Johnson, and the Sheboygan North High Lady Raiders, coached by Eric Spielman. Here's your starting lineups. First, for the Redbirds from De Pere. Number 12, Margaret Miller. Number 13, Jamie Palabicki. Number 24, Jesse Rubis. Number 30, Carly Serrato. And number 34, Sarah Keen. And now the starting lineup for your very own Sheboygan North High Lady Raiders. Number 10, Jalen Walter. Number 12, Nicole Barth. Number 42, Mackenzie Wolf. Number 52, Madison Wolf. And number 54, Emma Gentine. Tonight's officials are Jeff Voland, Don Baumgart, and Tom Rush. These officials are registered by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association. They are signed by North High School and the Fox River Classic Conference. Their experience and integrity qualify them to administer the rules of the game. Tonight's athletic training services provided by Purveya Sports Medicine of Green Bay in partnership with St. Nicholas, St. Mary, and St. Vincent Hospitals. Tonight's athletic trainer, Mr. Chris Lenz. Joe Wolf in the front and uh, Jeff Wolf right behind him. Mrs. Wolf is right there too. North controls the tap. Revelis has the ball on top. De Pere in a man to man defense. Kind of a wild shot taken that time by Madison Wolf. And De Pere just loses it out of bounds. Losing track was Margaret Miller. Marty can already see what North wants to try and do. And they were looking inside on the very first possession. This is just like a tournament game. And uh, matter of fact, if uh, both teams win out, 
through the uh, regionals and first part of the sectionals, they would play each other in the sectional finals. Mike mentioned that there's that inside play we talked about. Madison Wolf going hard to the basket and scores. We saw North a lot this past weekend against South, that high and low action. Entry pass to the free throw line and dumped down. I think that's what threw uh, North off a little bit on that first possession because uh, Madison not used to uh, kicking it into her sister, sister McKenzie. And we're going to get a over the back on De Pierre's Jesse Robbis. De Pierre coming out full court, wanting to harass the Golden Raiders, make it work, bringing that ball up the floor. One thing that foul does allow is to uh, set up the press. Barth overlaid on the uh, layup attempt. Nor sitting in the zone again. That's what they've been doing all year, and they're good at it. Three-point attempt is no good. Offensive rebound by uh, De Pierre. And the layup attempt is up and good. Palobicki with that basket. North girls, when they're bringing the ball up the press, got to keep their eyes up the floor. One thing that is impressive is uh, Madison Wolf breaking the press. Gentine open with a rainbow is no good. Good block out underneath. You see, both teams are not afraid to take that outside look. Well, if it's there, it's just a matter of hitting it. Good hands by Gentine. Yep, way to have live hands in the gap. Kiara Dahlman making an early entry for Nicole Barth. And here's, she's a very, very, very impressive uh, sophomore. Tall girl, lengthy. Wolf on the closeout caused the miss, but uh, De Pierre comes away with the offensive rebound again. They've now put up, was it three or four shots from this right corner? That's the side that North brought Dolman in and disrupts some shots from the corner. Good inside feed, no travel called. Shot is missed by uh, Keen. Yeah, it was a great entry pass. Just didn't feel, finish the deal. Here we go. Dolman trying low. to work the, low, the lane, but uh, was stopped on the defense. North trying to get it inside, but uh, De Pierre playing good defense. Madison Wolf scores and is fouled. Nice job of flashing across the middle of the lane, taking the entrance pass and finishing with the left hand. Keen picks up the foul. Good replay out there, Kerry. Kerry Coutzer, our director. Eric Wiesman on uh, graphics. Three point play is complete. North on top, five to two. Sean Delahunt running the floor camera and Richard Bartson up here running uh, the top camera. Shot attempt is no good. Revelous with the rebound and she's trying to push the action. Dolman going hard but has fouled before. Ball goes on Serato. You see that North is flashing Dolman to the free throw line or Mackenzie Wolf, and then Madison Wolf slides across the middle. They're looking for her. She's the one that you want to stay down low, just like that, and scores. Beautiful uh, use of the left hand. Boy, is she skilled. Very much. And I was mentioning about her uh, breaking the press too, you know, being able to dribble it up. 
She even did a behind the back dribble on that. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> That's the part you got to be careful about. Nice block. Beautiful block. Madison got beat on the baseline but recovered to uh, create, get a block and then uh, get the rebound. Dolman's shot is no good. A little, a little out of control wild. there. Yeah. Three point attempt is no good. McKenzie. Pierre can't buy a basket outside. Yeah. Hopefully that holds all game. Revelis doing a good job of taking control. Dolman posting up inside. Pass was a little long. Oh, I take that back. Jalen Walter has been number 10 in the ball game the whole while. I've been calling her Revelis. Sorry about that. Jalen checks out, and now Katie Revelis is in. Maybe we'll call her Rump. Oh, <laughs> Walter, <laughs> balance it out. Yeah, not good post defense that time. Yeah, she got caught behind. Shot attempt is off by Keen, and North gets the loose ball. Yeah, the right side of the floor has not been kind to De Pere. Seven to two North on top. A good hustling defense that time by Lizzie Miller. Also in the game for uh, the Redbirds is uh, Alexis Mashall. Gentine open from outside. Rainbow is no good. She had a wide open look at that. Got to knock it down. She's very capable not making that shot. Skip pass. Good screen down low. Shot attempt is off. But DePierre comes away with the rebound and Dahlman. I thought they were going to call the foul on her, but they call it on Mackenzie Wolf. Keen was the uh, low post player, Mike, that uh, set the screen that allowed the girl in the corner to get the wide open shot. Mm -hmm. Gentine playing on top on the zone. Now she shifts over to the uh, wing position. Emily Van Calligan is playing the rabbit on top, chasing the ball. Uh, there just isn't a whole lot to do when you get surrounded by three girls that are all taller than you are. You can see that the Pure girls are frustrated. They've got open looks. They just can't knock them down right now. Got to move to get open. And they're going to call seconds. the violation. The one official is going to go over and say she called a timeout first. So I think what no, what will happen is no. Tom Rush is going to say, I've got the call first, and we're sticking with the turnover. So North turns it over. 128 left in the first quarter. Lady Raiders on top. Margaret Miller with the ball in her hand is their top scorer. They need to get her on track, get her an open look. Gentine with the long arms is going to make it very difficult for her. One minute left in the first. Mashall kicks it over. Driving to the basket, no good. Mackenzie Wolf with the rebound. The north length makes her alternate shot. Good inside feed. But Madison Wolf looked like she got fouled big time, no call. And 
and driving and scoring was Cal Ubicki. Check that, Robbis. Ten seconds left. See what we get for a look here at the end. Here's a bomb. Revelis couldn't get it, but oh. she's fouled, and she'll have three free throws. Lizzie Miller getting it around the arm. That's a no-no, Marty. Never foul a jump shooter. Uh, didn't look very smooth on that free throw attempt. Yeah, walk off the lines. Forget that one. <laughs> Looked a little better. Yep, roll that one in. <laughs> Got to bend those knees. <laughs> Feel the steel. 1.3 seconds left. Looked pretty good on that last attempt. That looked attempt. perfect. Shot attempt is off in time and off the backboard. And at the end of one quarter of play, North on top, nine to four. Scariest things on the planet. <gasps> Every year, an average of 6,000 people lose their lives to thumbs that are used to text while driving. That means that your opposable digit is more dangerous than volcano sharks, airplanes, jellyfish, tigers, lions, tornadoes, roller coasters, hippos, skydiving, spiders, and snakes. Texting while driving is more dangerous than all of those things. So why isn't it one of your biggest fears? This video was submitted by a student through the Teens Drive Smart program. For more information on teen safety, visit teensdrivesmart.com. Before you're treated for breast cancer, get the facts. Women who are told about their breast reconstruction options report feeling in control and experiencing a higher quality of life after cancer. I know because I am one of them. I know because I am one of them. I know because I am one of them. Before you undergo surgery for breast cancer, get the facts. Make sure you know your breast reconstruction options. For more information, visit BroadAyUSA.org. Getting ready to start second quarter action. There you see uh, Eric Spielman talking to the troops. His assistant coach is Keith Conway. The head coach over at the pier is Dave Johnson. He's had some awesome teams the last few years. Oh, the pier is such a quality program. And so is North. Both of these teams really successful. North came out, or, or excuse me, DePier came out in the beginning of the game attacking the right side of the floor. Couldn't make a shot here. And now has been attacking more the left side. Walter back in. And Barth is back in. Wide open look from the corner is good by Jesse Robbis. That's their first hit from that corner. They've been shooting it all night. And those are the threes. They've gotten other good looks, but nothing went down for them in the first quarter. Get it to the high post. Dahlman, kick out. Walter, got it. Oh, nice inside out feed. Kara Dahlman with a great pass out. Counters the three-pointer that uh, DePierre made earlier. There you see it. Lizzie Miller looked like she had an open shot, but didn't take it. Three-point attempt is uh, nothing but air that time by uh, Margaret Miller. Let's see how North handles this press. They haven't turned the ball over, but they haven't looked impressive breaking it. They've struggled. Need to get some movement. Well, I don't know why. Walter came right across the lane, was wide open, and uh, didn't even look to get it to her. Dolman is fouled. Committing the foul was Margaret Miller. Kind of a silly foul, you know, that far away from the basket. The pier looked like they wanted the trap in the half court. Whoa. 
<laughs> good thing Dahlman was right behind Barth. <laughs> it's good to have friends. Madison Wolf trying to score, and uh, we got a three-second call. I believe that's going against uh, Kiera Dahlman. Twelve to seven, North on top. They've led the whole way. North looks to extend their guards and pressure, trying to get out on the shooters. Hell, Ubiki had it on top. And we get a timeout by DePier with uh, just under six minutes left until halftime. North on top, 12 to seven. It's only a 30 second timeout. What are you seeing, Mike? Yeah, uh, DePier is getting shots. They just are having a devil of a time making them. And I see the North girls are starting to get out and starting to defend the three-point arc. They began defending inside. Now they're starting to get out. They know that the pier eventually is gonna, gonna make some. The law of average says that they're gonna make some. So they're starting to extend their defense. I've been watching the uh, top three girls, especially for North, and when uh, the De Pere girls catch it on the top, every once in a while I see girls coming at the offensive player, but with their hands below their waist. And I'd like to see at least one hand up. Walter's gonna get called for the foul blocking. That's the first time in the game that I can remember that the De Pere uh, guards at the top of the key look to penetrate. They've been just kind of swinging the ball back and forth, not making the, def the defense on top play. Tell you, Bicky had it in the corner, but uh, Dahlman over to uh, cover up that shot. The Pier looking for openings. It's been tough. It's been uh, Robbins trying to drive it, but couldn't. And there goes a layup attempt is good. Yeah, the North defender ran out at the player, never broke down, allowing the, 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 the pure offensive player to go right, right around her. You gotta Serato, break yourself down. Serato on that shot. Gentine open, but uh, wasn't even looking at the basket. Madison Wolf off the glass and in. Going right to the money. <laughs> Ring the bell. Good play by North. Madison Wolf has nine points. She leads all scorers. Wide open three point attempt is around and down by Serato. The first time they played, she had four three pointers, so she's capable. Mackenzie Wolf trying to kiss it off the glass but couldn't. And then we're going to get an over the back foul and uh, that's going to be her second. See what uh, Coach Spielman does. He sends uh, Revelis up to the scorer's table to check in. Okay, let's watch the North defenders, they run out at the shooters, allowing the, the, the pair per, uh, player to run right on them. Serato has been uh, money. She passes it inside. There's another move. And that's going to go against Madison Wolf. Again, when the North defense recovers, Mike, they're coming out at them too high and allowing the offense to just dribble right around them. You can see the North girls are so worried about the pier knocking down the three that they just run out at them and don't break down. Got to stay down, get in the stance. I agree with you there. Bobby Knight used to say when you're going to attack a shooter, go at them low and short. 
so they can't drive around you. Mm -hmm. Kiara Dolman's on that side of the floor. Let's see how she defends. Dolman working hard the pier underneath. Is, yeah. It's you a battle the in there. The pier has uh, got a little more energy. They see the Wolf girls out, or girl out. Serato Bango. That's two for her. She has eight. 15 to 14, to pure on top. Norris gotta be careful not to panic. And they threw it away. Coming up with it was Lizzie Miller. Another three ball is off, no good, but De Pierre comes away with the loose ball. Pal Ubicki has it. Skip pass, Pal Ubicki, no good. Madison Wolf with the rebound. She'll bring it up. 2.30 left. Dolman a little too nonchalant and then didn't go hustle after the loose ball. Yeah, gotta go after the loose change. Good block out underneath by Jalen Walter and going deep to Madison. Scores, no Score. foul call, there should have been. There was a lot of contact. They sure could have blown the whistle on that one. Oh, Coach Spielman is really barking at uh, Don Burkhart because of that no call, and the ball goes out of bounds. Check in for the pier, Dolman. Uh, Gonna stay in there. You need her height in there with uh, Mackenzie Wolf out. Nicole Barth just checked in. A girl who could shoot some from the perimeter. Walter being hounded by uh, Margaret Miller. Gentine had the ball stolen, but then we get a foul. And. Uh, <laughs> Coach Dave Johnson just folds his arms and doesn't say anything. Probably a good choice. Okay, they got Robis with her second foul. Six fouls on DePierre. Walter was standing at the three-point line wide open. Gentine yeah. never looked over to that, that side. That was simply, I think they were trying to get everybody's attention to the left side and sneak somebody to that right side. Mackenzie Wolf back in. We're going to have to uh, keep an eye on her, make sure she doesn't get foul number three. Yeah, kind of a roll of the dice by Coach Spielman there. I agree. With only a minute, 41 left. Yeah, it only takes one foul. Get past the Walter. A good defense played that time by uh, number 22, Lizzie Miller. Kenzie was covered up. Walter with the left handed scoop, no good. McKen Madison Wolf with the shot, no good. Just kind of fading away on that. And a whistle and a trip. I think they got Jalen Walter for that. Yep. And Nicole Barth second. coming back in. Mackenzie Wolf coming out. Walter's got two fouls, Mike. North up one, 16 to 15. 110 left until halftime. Driving baseline but not able to get the shot off was uh, Margaret Miller. Morth pushing the ball up the floor. Forcing the action. Sarah Keen inside. 
Shot by Gentine off the glass and in. Nice drive from the free throw line. 30 seconds left until halftime. Serato's shot, no good. Gentine not able to come up with it. De Pere has another chance. Got to get on the floor. North ball. Sarah Keen reminds me a little bit of uh, John Kuhn from the uh, <laughs> Packers, the way he plays so hard, and she does the same thing. 11.9 seconds left. Back to Walter, five seconds inside. Oh. Gentine at the buzzer is no good. North almost threw it away, but was able to get it back for a shot. And we're at halftime with North on top, 18 to 15. Getting out of the military, I was missing this camaraderie. It's frustrating when you try and talk to people that don't understand. I still had the anger, I still had the uh, addictions, but we didn't talk about that. Came to a point where it's like, okay, I really need to talk to somebody about this. Family more or less encouraged me, you know, go, go to the VA. It's okay to go get help. It's okay to talk to people, because it takes true strength to ask for help. Hear veterans' real stories of strength and recovery at maketheconnection.net. Going to school pregnant, riding the bus, that was hard. You just have all the stares and you have all the questions. When you get pregnant, all the stuff just goes through your mind. Abortion, adoption, keeping him. When you're 15 and pregnant, you can't do it without support. I wanted to give him a better life. I'm Miranda and I chose adoption.
healthy diet and plenty of exercise are keys to success, both on and off the ice. Teaching kids how to eat right will give them the fuel they need to be at their very best. Growing bodies need lots of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and low-fat dairy to be healthy and strong. A registered dietitian can work with your family to help you create nutritious meals you will love. And don't forget to exercise for at least 60 minutes every day. Visit kidseatright.org for more information. You show your smile to the world every day, but nearly four out of five Americans say they would smile a lot more if their teeth looked better. The good news is healthy teeth can be safely and affordably corrected at any age. Advances in orthodontics have made the treatment more successful and comfortable than ever. Only orthodontists receive two to three years of education beyond dental school to learn the proper way to align and straighten teeth. To learn more, visit mylifemysmile.org. North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, where the uh, later Lady Raiders lead De Pere, 18 to 15, uh, scoring in the first half. Cal Ubicki for De Pere had two, Robbins had five, Serato led the uh, Redbirds with eight. Four on North, Walter had three, Revelis had two, Gentine two, and Madison Wolf leads all scorers with 11. Um, Mike, you kept track of turnovers, but there weren't a whole lot in that first half. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a non-factor. They both had kind of an equal amount. But uh, I think the peers' backcourt pressure accomplished what they want. They wanted to harass. They wanted to try and get north a little rattled out of their offensive flow. And then the second court, I think, they accomplished that. No foul trouble. Uh Mackenzie Wolf and uh, Jalen Walter each have two, and uh, for De Pere, Jesse Robbins is the only foul person with two fouls. So, in that regard, both teams are doing well. North North was three for four from the free throw line in the first half with one three point basket. De Pere had no free throw attempts, but did make three three pointers, all coming in the second quarter. The one thing De Pere did find some success in the second quarter was driving baseline. Serato's pass inside, and the shot looked like it was a good block by Mackenzie Wolf, but uh, the deep official, Don Bumgart, didn't see it that way, and Mackenzie has her third. That's potentially a big foul. Sarah Keem making the first free throw. The Pierce top scorer coming into the game was Margaret Miller. She doesn't have a basket. And we were talking about that at halftime. We don't remember getting many shots either. Here comes the double team, running and jumping. Good feed inside by Nicole, and then uh, losing the ball was uh, Madison Wolf. Good double team underneath by Margaret Miller. Yeah, the Red Bear has really collapsed on her. Shot attempt is no good. Gentine with a good block out gets the rebound. Walter trying to push the action, but uh, DePierre does a good job of getting back on defense. They are really collapsing on Madison Wolf. Gentine with a big three. That is a huge shot. A high archer. North up four. Serato shot rims out. No Another break baseline there. drive. Barth wide open on the other side. That's a travel. Oh, they're going to get a foul called on De Pere. Foul is going to go on Sarah Keen. And that's her second. Madison understands that she, when she gets the ball in the low block, there are going to be two and three girls, sometimes four collapsing on her. She has to find the open girl. Uh, good call. Real quick foul that time going on uh, Carly Serrato. And that's her second foul.
get the sense that Emma Gentine making that first shot, it may not be her last. A good defense. That full, it looked like it went off of uh, Mackenzie Wolf's knee. And uh, on the other side, we got a foul call. It's going to go on to Pierre. A foul on number 34, Sarah Keene. Or is yeah, it the outside be? official yeah. caught that one. It's on Keene, and that's her third. And uh, looking to uh, check in, but a little late was Anna Feirich. North looks discombobulated right now. I agree. Walter had the look but couldn't get it to go. Yeah, great ball reversal to get the open look. Just got to knock it down. Mackenzie Wolf's got to be careful. She's getting caught behind her, her person yeah. down the low block. Keen uh, does a good job of using her body. Driving baseline and scoring was Jesse Robbis. The Pierre has found something driving that left base baseline against Mackenzie Wolf. Inside feed to Madison. Her shot is no good, but she's fouled. She'll be shooting a, shooting a pair. Madison did something that all young players should take notice. She didn't pass the ball and then stand. She passed, she cut, went right past her sister, looked for the ball, and was rewarded. Serato picks up her th third foul. All of a sudden, DePierre has a couple of their uh, better players sitting on the bench, Mike. Yep. You see Coach Spielman getting Mackenzie Wolf out of the game before she picks up that third. She looked a little leg weary on the last defensive stand. One for two trip there. North on top, 22 to 19. Rolling down to the five minute mark. Cal Ubicki, the left hander, couldn't get it in. I know she's on the other team, Mike, but you just gotta love those left-handers. <laughs> Triple look team on Yeah, look how they collapse, yeah. Barth, no good. Great block out by DePierre. Miller could not drive it in. Gonna attempt a three ball and get it. Her first basket of the game. We're all tied up with about Four and a half minutes left in the third quarter. A good screen inside, but uh, Barth didn't attempt a three. Gentine will oh, and drains it. Ho, ho, ho. Downtown. That is more than a rainbow. Miller, shot attempt is uh, no good. Gentine with the rebound. North end numbers. Barth, look good. Oh, just wouldn't go down. She got a couple of bounces off the rim, but the hoop didn't want it. Pelubicki's pass inside. Dahlman gonna get called for the reach. Again, the North girls are caught behind the offensive player. They got to get over the top. Ferrick on the line. She's going to shoot a pair. Oops. Mansell in for DePier, Revelis in for uh, North. No for two trip. Dolman. Oh, couldn't get it. 
Nice catch and a good shot, just wouldn't roll in. Another feed inside the block by um, Madison Wolf. That's still not good defense though, Mike. Yeah, they're getting caught behind. Gentine, Rainbow, drained oh. it. I had a feeling she was going to take the lid off after the first one. It's usually how it works. Gentine, three second call. Got a three second call, yep. I North on a little bit get, of a run here. I thought they were going to get Gentine for a reaching foul. Seems like the Gentine girl is just taking over right now. She's gotten some big rebounds on the defensive glass and made some shots on the offensive end. Anna Furyk uh, really hesitant to uh, put any pressure on Dahlman as she brought the ball across half court. Furyk's a oh. senior too, you would think uh, she'd be a little more confident. Dump down. Dolman shot again is off, no good. You got to finish. She's had two good looks, point blank. North up six. Skip pass. Oh, went right around her again, and baseline. She passed it out. Lizzie Miller passing up the layup attempt. Madison Wolf with the rebound. Let's see One. if they go back to the hot hand. Emma Gentine's been hot. Revelis was eyeing it up but didn't shoot it. Madison Wolf looked uh, like she wanted the ball inside, but they didn't give it to her. And then committing the foul on the cut through was Anna Feirich. The uh, fifth team foul, Mike, on uh, De Pere. North only has two. Yeah, the source foul balls mount up. North will be able to take advantage of us in the fourth quarter, hopefully. Revelis, no good. Gentine, Gentine hustling and scoring. Oh, picking up the loose change. Biggest lead by North, eight points. Oh, what a move inside by Keen. That was a very nice move. Left-handed too, I might add. Walter breaking pressure, under a minute. DePierre really extending pressure now. Come out right after him. Revelis, not able to push it in. Gentine, oh, who's they gonna get it? Yes, no, it touched the line. North will get it. Oh man, a matter we don't of need slow motion, <laughs> carry. <laughs> Coming in is uh, Emily Van Calligan. Emily played a little bit in that first half. 29.2 seconds remain in the third. North up 30 to 24. Watch MG Gentine getting the ball back after inbounds. Oh. Fortunate play there. The pure girl didn't just grab it. Now a little taller, she would have intercepted it. 20 seconds. Nice catch by Gentine. She's fouled on the shot attempt. No call, but she scores anyway. That senior came to play tonight. Five seconds. Shot attempt, no good. And we're at the end of three. North on top, 32 to 24. Today, change your tomorrow. Hi.
I'm Teresa Judice. What is nephrotic syndrome? What is FSGS? FSGS is a leading cause of kidney failure in children. Children and over 8,000 people are diagnosed with FSGS and nephrotic syndrome each year. Nephrotic syndrome affects adults and children. Of both sexes and of any race. Make a difference. And join us in the fight against FSGS and nephrotic syndrome. Yeah. Please visit nephcure.org or call 866-NEFCURE to learn more. The curfew you have imposed on me is an egregious infringement upon my social well-being and freedom. Speaking of freedom, it is preposterous to suggest that I have my homework done before playing video games. I know my rights, and you can't tell me what to do. Mom, Dad, you have 30 seconds for a response. Does every conversation with your teen turn into a debate? Call the Boystown National Hotline at 800-448-3000 or visit parenting.org. Trained counselors are on call 24-7 to help with parenting problems. Back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse where the Raiders will get it out and they lead 32 to 24. What a quarter by Emma Gentine. Both on the offensive end making shots and then the defensive end coming up with the loose change, the rebounds. Gentine with 15 points, she leads all scorers. Madison Wolf has 12. Serato with eight leads to Pierre. Inside to Madison, kick out to Walter, bango! Eleven point lead. What a big hit by Jalen Walter, huh? Oh yeah, for sure. No oh, good. Coming away with it is Walter off of a glance by uh, Madison Wolf. She couldn't quite gather it in, but uh, Revelis bailed her out. You see DePierre extending that defense, which means the Wolf girls get single coverage inside. Got to take advantage. Mackenzie Wolf got it inside and drew the foul. She'll be shooting a pair. That's the one thing DePierre is going to give up if they extend that defense or trap. They leave somebody open. Picking up the foul was uh, Jesse Robbis. Come on, girls, make these. This will be the fourth free throw attempt of the half and North is only one for four. They were three for four in the first half. Next foul by DePierre and North is in the bonus. Good call, Mike. Shot attempt is good. That was all set up on a screen by Jamie Pavlobaki. Miller with the three, her second basket of the night. Walter kicks it in, and it goes right back out to Van Calligan. Knocked down was uh, Wolf. She gets back up and out of the lane. Little hand-to-hand -hand combat inside. Yeah, you know who's <laughs> using the hip inside? It's Sarah Keen. Sarah Keen, you talked about that before the game. <laughs> and that's her fourth. Yeah, her and Madison are having quite a battle inside. It's like I like to say, Mike, they're getting to know each other quite well. <laughs> Shall we dance? Keen coming out. North will be in bonus the rest of the way. I'll tell you, Madison Wolf is as close to automatic at the free throw line as you can get. She's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, see, one for one there, one for two. And two for two here. She's a three for four. Pretty confident looking stroke there. Rolling down to the six minute mark of the fourth quarter. North up by 10. It's been a very entertaining basketball game by two of the best teams in the state. Mike had mentioned in the opening, De Beer comes in ranked number three and North number six. And a ticky tack is gonna be called on Van Calligan. Yeah, kind of a nickel and dimer out there. 
It's only the third team foul this half. Nicole Barth coming in for Van Calligan. Tell you, Bicky, the left hander down here in the corner of your screen, number 13. Well, Miller looked like she was wide open and didn't take the shot. And then trying to cut through, she got the pass on a great catch and scores. Are you going to see it? All set up on the baseline drive. Ball on Walter. That was her third. Free throw is good. North only up seven now. It's 37 to 30. And again, Anna Furick not call, uh, not uh, pressuring the ball handler. Madison Wolf tried to get it back after missing a layup attempt, but it rolls off a De Pere player. Yeah, looked like it was off the, the Red Bird's leg. Break for North. Look for Gentine <coughs> after the pass. Trying to dump down. Pretty good defense played inside that time by uh, Robis. Mackenzie Wolf has it. Kicked it out to uh, Bart. Bart. Shot attempt is no good. Yeah, kind of a wild shot, out of control. Pretty good defense. Serato, three point attempt is no good. Look at the doubler. Should have numbers. Barth couldn't get it. Mackenzie Wolf fouled. She'll be shooting two. Foul's going to go on Margaret Miller. Nice rebound by Mackenzie Wolf. Taking up strong. You got to hope, Mike, that some of these uh, inside shots that North is not making doesn't come back to haunt them later on. Mackenzie having trouble from the line. She's 0 for 3. The first time North played the pier, that came back to bite them. They missed some free throws down the stretch, allowing the Redbirds to take over the game. Let's hope history doesn't repeat itself. Exactly. North continuing in the zone. The Pierce setting screens on the outside guards of North, trying to get them all. Miller looking to penetrate and then kicks it out. A good three point attempt is no good by uh, Lizzie Miller. You're not going to get much of better of a look than that. Travel. A little tip too through the tulips. She should have kicked it out to the wing. I think Nicole Barth was out in the corner wide open. Yeah, she did have her. Actually, you know, if you make that pass early and then cut through, you might get a layup. Yep. Dump down inside. Basket is good by Robis. Pardon me, Keen. Applying the pressure is Lizzie Miller. Every possession becomes biggest with only three minutes left. Dump down nice to Madison. Nice down. She's fouled. It's North really went back to his bread and butter. That's what you do. Foul is going to go on Lizzie Miller. Next foul, double bonus for North. These are the money balls, girls. Got to make them. 338 left. North up by six. Looking to make it seven. They do. Lizzie Miller 
Well, it looked like she was gonna drive the middle, but we have a whistle. It's a timeout by De Pere. It's a full timeout, Carrie, so let's take a short break. My diabetes tests me every day. It tests my parents, my friends, my gymnastics practice. But JDRF has my back. They're working hard to find a cure for type 1 diabetes, which for me would mean freedom. And they help me now with better treatments and new devices that make my life easier. The folks at JDRF test themselves every day. So someday, I won't have to. JDRF, improving lives, curing type 1 diabetes. Back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, there you see the uh, North Lady Raiders. I was just counting up, Mike. Uh, Madison Wolf is five for seven for, from the free throw line tonight. And uh, she'll be going back some more. Oh yeah. With double bonus coming up, I would anticipate more than once. I still get worried about a couple of things with Norris defense. One is allowing the baseline drives pretty consistently. And the other is uh, the covering up of the three point shooters. Shot attempt is no good. Gentine skying for the rebound. Yeah, if you're going to put money on who is going to get a rebound right now, Emma Gentine's probably the one. Madison Wolf, she's going to be fouled before the layup attempt, so she'll have uh, should be the tenth foul. So she'll be she'll be shooting two. Nice recognition. She could see all the the peer girls guarding, locking down their person, and she just took her person one on one. Oh, I think we jinxed her by talking about free throws. Uh, I'll take the blame on that one. Jesse Rabas has four fouls along with Sarah Keene who has four fouls. And there you get a great shot. Sean Delahunt giving you that picture. Oh, for two trip. Miller had it. That time Baseline. she was covered up. Mansell's... Uh, Pass attempt was kicked away. <laughs> you would think, I think by the end of this game, they know they're going left baseline. <laughs> Baker Forrester to the right. Richard Bartson giving you that shot and uh, providing graphics in the truck is Eric Wiesman. Our director, of course, is Kerry Kautzer. And up here in the booth, we got the two Mike. Mike and Mike in the app. <laughs> no, Mike and Mike in the evening. In the evening. <laughs> we do sports too. Walter applying the pressure outside. Serrato looking to drive it in, but good defense again. Another timeout, this time by De Pierre's Dave Johnson, and he is not happy. Something didn't seem right. You can see he's diagrammed something, and they're not running it the way they need to run it. We were talking with uh, Dave and Janet Tetschlag uh, before the game, and uh, the they were saying that the De Pere coach felt that they had a pretty good plan of attack, uh, but they could find some weaknesses in the zone. Yeah, De Pere feels confident. They know where the, the openings are. They just got to knock down shots. Right. And I think what uh, Coach Johnson was mad about right there was uh, they didn't do such a great job of recognizing. Mm -hmm. There are certain not a whole things he wants them to do, and they just weren't running it. There's not a whole lot of time left. We have 238 with uh, only a seven point lead, so it's certainly doable. But uh, I still want to make that recognition and then attack. And uh, North again, very late getting out of the huddle. That time the officials waited for him. It's Emma Genti time. I feel a turnover for her. Make a play. Feet inside to Robbins, kicks it right out to uh, Milt. That was uh, Pelubicki. 
Jump shot from 10 is no good. Mackenzie Wolf on a bust oh, out really to so. Walter. She lays it up and in. Good recognition on the outlet pass. North up nine. Palubicki, the left-hander, couldn't get it. Gentine kicks it out to Walter, but she slows it down. Barth almost took it hard and then pulled it back out. Maybe the right choice. They'll run some clock. We're under two minutes. Clock's the enemy. Madison Wolf kicks it out. Good play there. Just run your offense. Good feed inside. Madison Wolf shoots and scores, and she's fouled. Madison with the finish. It. That foul is going to go on Jesse Robbis, and that's her fifth. Three of those coming here in the fourth quarter, Mike. North was really patient on the last oh, possession. You got it. That was a great offensive set all the way around. Doesn't get much better than that. Okay, no f silly fouls. Nothing that kills the clock. Keep it running. Largest lead of the night, 12, 44-32. Inside feed to Keen. Her shot is no good, but Madison Wolf commits the foul. That's only number two on her. That was a nice bounce pass to entry into the post for the pier. Watch the pier to pick up full court. Really coming after you. Now it comes into play. We're in the double bonus, so any fouls we know we're going to get to. Walter. Battling hard for the rebound. Ball to the Golden Raiders. One thirteen left. Oh, why? She's open twice and you don't throw it to her. Come on. God. Yeah. You know, how can somebody run right in front of you and you don't <laughs> give her the ball? <laughs> What are you waiting for? Either you don't have the confidence in her or, well, or make it into the pass. Coach Spielman knows what he's doing. I mean, he's got what he would think would be his best uh, inbounder. Free throw game. Tell you, Bicky commits that foul. Barth at the line for the Raiders. Raiders can taste this one. No kidding. So can we. Nicole Barth's first free throw attempt is no good. She's looking for her first point of the night. And so is her dad, Pete. There's a good shot of Nicole. <laughs> uh, North is 9 for 19 in the ball game. And they started off good. Good move. May have got a one on the walk and an elbow. Keen. Going deep with the pass. Bar's shot is no good. She'll be shooting free throws. No need to score. Pull that out. Run her 10, or 10 15 seconds off the clock. Yeah, I agree. You're not going to get an argument from me. You uh, said it right about uh, 20 seconds ago. The clock is your enemy. All of a sudden, there's a lid on that thing. And Nicole doesn't look comfortable shooting tonight. Forty seconds left. Tell you, Bicky, kick out, three-point attempt is no good. The pier comes away with it. Serrato took the shot, but the timeout came first by uh, Dave Johnson. 
Boy, would he be kicking himself <laughs> in the pants if that would have went in. Yeah, he was. She had a good look at it. 31.1 seconds left, north up nine. Uh, you still are worried that three ball can uh, really change the complexion of a game. Yeah, the couple with the fact that we're not making free throws right now. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 free throws in the fourth quarter and uh, North has made seven. Mm -hmm. That's terrible. Yeah, they left some money on the table. It's a good thing the game isn't any closer than it is. Miller kicks it over to Serrato, her three ball. She felt good on the release, but it didn't go in. Nice job of moving the ball, North. Yep. Serrato's going to get the foul. Barth is going to shoot some more free throws. Foul on Carly Serrato. On the line, Nicole Barth. That's uh, Serrato's fourth foul, Mike. There's a free throw. Nothing to this game. That one that looks she more she looked more comfortable at. I don't like quite that much arch, but whatever. Lead is back to ten. You gotta like that part of it. Three ball down, nothing but the bottom of the net. That one by Lizzie Miller. Splash. I think that's a little too little too late. Yeah, I think so too. Oh. So full time out, Kerry. Let's take a quick short break. Come on, let's go. Hey. Hey, hi, what's your name? You live around here? You're pretty. W where are you guys going? Where are you going? Where are you going? I guess it's about time to get you fixed, sweetie. Your pets will start getting noticed sooner than you think. Accidental litters lead to millions killed in shelters each year. Help prevent more. Fix at month four. Stop. Whether it's on the way to school, at school, or online, bullying has become a non-stop threat to our youth today. Is your child being bullied? The National Runaway Switchboard can help. North Ball. Madison Wolf. No foul. Deep down to Barr. She is going to pull it out, and that's going to be the ball game. North a winner, 45 to 38. Uh, hang on, we're going to hopefully have a couple of kids and uh, interview those. Help. If you're having a hard time, get online or call to chat now. Every day, thousands of people suffer from sudden cardiac arrest. Would you know how to help? Or would they be all alone? Learn what to do at heartrescuenow.com. In an instant, everything we know can be taken away. I'm John LaRoquette, and as an actor, I've made a career on TV and performing on the Broadway stage. But is that what matters most? If I was suddenly disabled and couldn't take steps, couldn't I still act? Only abilities matter. Visit Kessler Foundation on Facebook and tell us your abilities. And go to KesslerFoundation.org, where only abilities matter. I'm Sandra Fry. 
I'm a union bus driver, and I'm also a mom. During 17 years with Greyhound, I've covered over 2 million miles. My job is to safely bring families together. I love the open road, but I never forget that a drowsy or careless driver could be right around the next curve. Drunk driving is the deadliest of all. As a mom and as a bus driver, I have a message for you. If you drink, don't drive. When you're behind the wheel, Always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're driving. Share and be aware, we're all responsible. We're back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse. Joining me is uh, Mackenzie Wolf and Madison Wolf. Mackenzie, in that South game, you had a real nice game dumping it inside. Your sister was at the game plan again tonight. Yeah, um, I always look to her because we have that twin thing going on. We know where we want the passes, so it's nice that she finishes them too. Now, when you give her a lot of passes inside, does she always treat you real nice after that? Um, I'd say so, yeah. Is she telling the truth? I've gotten better at it. <laughs> we look for each other a lot more now. All right, Mike, you got a couple questions for the girls? I, I was just going to ask, what got into Emma and Gentine in that third quarter? What did somebody say to her at halftime? She just came out hot, and we kept feeding her, and she kept making it. So if she's hot, you're going to keep passing to her. Good job. One more for her? Sure, absolutely. I was going to ask you, were you a little nervous getting that second fall early in the game? Um, well, I've been dealing with foul trouble the past two games, so I'm kind of adjusting to it, playing smarter so I don't take myself out of the game. Your presence is really big on the floor. That's what I plan. <laughs> Without giving away too many secrets, girls, what did Coach Spielman have to say at halftime? You, get, you uh, had a great first half, you are up by three, but what did he have to say? He just told us to keep the energy up, keep playing as a team, lock them down on defense, and I think we executed that very well in the second half. I think you could have made it a little easier on yourself if you guys could knock some free throws down at the end. Uh, we won't talk about Nicole, but <laughs> what do you guys do at practice to try and make free throws? Um, we practice free throws a lot. Um, it's definitely a different atmosphere when you're in a game compared to when we're in practice. So we got to get more focused and make them more game-like so we can put them in. Now, you might play the same team one more time. You know, if you guys both both advance through the uh, tournament action, uh, what's it going to take to beat them two out of three? Um, we're just going to have to come out with all the energy that we had this game and play together and just play lockdown defense again. All right. With that, we're going to send it. Uh, we're going to sign off, actually. We want to thank everybody for watching. Thank the girls for stopping over and talking to us. It was really great. Again, North a winner, 45 to 38. Our next game will be on Thursday night when uh, Christian travels over to Lutheran for the Holy War by the shore. Until that time, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road. Every day, thousands of community and